I had recently learned that canola oil was not only genetically modified but carried a lot of other health risks and uh, so I was pretty horrified when I went to the supermarket and I found that all these so-called health foods like hummus and all these things that they all contain canola oil so I, I made a video about Karen and I going to the supermarket and some people left comments about canola oil that it's not a pesticide, it's not rapeseed oil etc etc and I was totally wrong about it so I I wanted to make a video follow-up to canola oil and why canola oil will kill you. This is the website of the Canola Council of Canada. Now what do you expect from the Canola Council of Canada? You think they're going to tell you the truth when they got a product to sell? Okay, they have a fact sheet on here. First of all, what is canola oil? Uh, they say canola is not rapeseed. Um, actually, canola is a hybridized form of rapeseed that contains low erucic acid, but it still comes from the rape plant. Um, rape uh, is not such an appealing word for a food, and so they tried to change it when they hybridized it, and they, they called it low erucic acid rape, which was a, an acronym that, 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 uh, that spelled Lear. So Lear was not any more appealing than rape. So they ended up making up a name for it. They called it canola, which is Canadian oil low acid. Yes, there is a canola plant now because they renamed the hybridized rape plant canola plant. Another question, was canola developed using genetic engineering? They say, no, it was developed using you know traditional hybridization techniques, but now 80% of canola is um, genetically modified to be herbicide resistant. However, they, they try to tell you this. Remember, the canola plant has been modified, not the oil. So they say that because they only modified one gene and it was a protein and there's no protein in the oil, so the oil is not genetically modified. Another question. Is it true that in China, rapeseed oil was found to emit harmful emissions when heated? And they say yes. However, the study also found that other vegetable oils tested in China produce the same emissions under the same conditions. Here's the thing. When you heat vegetable oils, like polyunsaturated vegetable oils, to high temperatures, it damages them and then they become harmful uh, to human health when you, when you eat them. So they say here that the wok cooking temperatures are higher than what we use in Canada, but it doesn't matter because the, the canola oil is heated to 300 degrees Fahrenheit when it's processed because otherwise it would smell disgusting and nobody would want to eat it. So regardless of what you do with it in your kitchen, it has already been heated and as a result it's probably quite damaged. Heating it definitely harms it and it has been heated. Question. Can canola kill insects such as aphids? Right? Because people say canola is an insecticide. They say yes, pouring any cooking oil, canola, olive, corn, sunflower, or peanut over an insect and you'll suffocate it. True enough, right? But, but they leave out the part that canola is in and of itself an insecticide having nothing to do with suffocating it. And as proof of this, if you go to the EPA website, you'll see that canola is listed as a pesticide, although corn oil and olive oil and others are not. Pesticide, regulating pesticides, canola, fact sheet. This is what the EPA has to say about canola as a pesticide. Canola is an edible refined vegetable oil obtained from the seeds of four species of rape plant. Scientists believe that canola repels insect by altering the outer layer of the leaf surface or by acting as an insect irritant. So it has nothing to do with smothering the insect. Canola oil is considered safe for human consumption. DLDewey.com uh, Referring to a couple of studies. They mentioned that in 1996, a Japanese study announced that um, a canola diet had killed lab animals. So in response to this, uh, Canadian scientists did a duplicate study on canola with piglets. In a, they were drinking formula with canola oil in it. And uh, what they found was that the, the canola oil somehow depleted the piglets of vitamin E to dangerously low levels. Being depleted of vitamin E 
uh, affects your cardiovascular health. So it's ironic that they promote this as a heart healthy oil when it could it would do something to you that would you know actually damage your heart. So much for canola being healthy. Question, is it true that Europe has banned canola oil since 1991? They say no, the EU countries produce more canola than Canada, but they call their canola oil seed rape and the oil rape oil or rape seed oil, but it is canola. These people have a lot of nerve. I mean, they have the first, at the top, they say it is not rape oil, and then they tell you that the Europeans still call it rape oil and it's from a hybridized rape plant. I mean, how stupid do they think we are? Question, does the Canadian government subsidize Canadian food processors who use canola oil? They say, no, Canada's food processors use canola oil because their customers want healthy food. In fact, they use it because it's cheaper. Uh, you can look for, you know, mayonnaise that says contains olive oil, but then if you look at the ingredients, the number one ingredient is canola oil, and olive oil is way at the bottom. They know that people want healthy oils. They know that they want uh, real healthy oils like olive oil, but, but they're too expensive, so they use canola instead. That's why they use it. Look, as the mainstream media always tells us, if you've got nothing to hide, you've got nothing to fear. But as you can see from the blatant propaganda and obvious lies on the Canadian Canola Council uh, website, uh, they obviously have something to hide. Are they afraid of us finding out that canola oil will kill you?